You've all seen the latest TikTok trend for making chopped Italian sub sandwiches, and they are so delicious. But we're taking it a step further today, and we have developed nine more chopped sandwich recipes. So grab your knives and cutting boards and get ready to make our top 10 chopped sandwich recipes. And the last two might just change your family cookouts forever. We'll begin with the original chopped Italian sub, the sandwich that started it all. Our recipe has all the traditional ingredients for an Italian sub. Ham, pepperoni, salami, provolone, lettuce, tomato, red onion, and a quick sub dressing made from salt, pepper, mayo, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and Italian seasoning. To transform these ingredients into a chopped sub sandwich, just pile them all on a cutting board and go to town chopping everything together. When everything is chopped and mixed well, spread it onto a sub roll, stuffing it full, and enjoy. You'll get a taste of every single flavor in every bite. Our Greek sandwich recipe calls for cucumber, tomato, kalamata olives, green bell pepper, red onion, feta cheese, olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, mayo, and fresh mint. This combo is really similar to a gyro, but vegetarian. You can add lamb or beef if you want to go more traditional, but either way, these classic Greek flavors make an amazing chopped sandwich. Served best on pita bread, we love this powerful flavor combo with the bright tangy vinegar and olives and the sharp bite from the feta. The crunchy veggies and creamy mayo bring it all together for a salad we just can't get enough of. The muffaletta is a classic New Orleans sandwich that combines sopraceta, capicola, mortadella, and provolone with tangy olives, jardiniera, roasted red peppers, parsley caper, garlic, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. If you're not familiar with jardiniera, it's a combination of pickled celery, cauliflower, and carrots, and a critical part of the olive salad that's already traditionally chopped up in a muffaletta. Chopping the meat and cheese along with it elevates it even more. Muffalettas are traditionally left to sit for a while before eating so that the juices can soak into the bread, and this chopped sandwich approach makes that magical soak even better. The Timeless Caprese combines fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, basil, balsamic vinegar, salt, and pepper, and we added an avocado for an extra creamy touch that helps hold everything together. Caprese is one of our favorites, whether served as an appetizer, salad, or a sandwich. When it's all chopped up and served on a crusty baguette, it's a dreamy combo that reminds us of our visit to Italy. The BLT just requires a few simple ingredients, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, but it's my favorite sandwich of all time. It's often difficult to keep those tomato slices from falling out of the sandwich, but turning it into a chopped BLT sandwich easily solves that problem. Served on toasted bread, this taste of a chopped BLT is definitely more than the sum of its parts. What's more classic than a club sandwich with ham, American cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayo? Chopping the ingredients up and mixing them together brings a new spin on a lunchtime standard. Served between three layers of toasted bread, a chopped club sandwich will have your guests wondering exactly what they're being served, at least until they see those telltale frilly toothpicks. The Cubano sandwich has smoked ham, roasted pork, Swiss cheese, dill pickles, and mustard. This Cuban sandwich is one of my favorites that I don't indulge in as often as I should. I love the tangy pickle with the rich cheese. Even served cold on a hoagie roll, a chopped Cubano is a delicious sandwich, but take it next level by grilling it or pressing it in a panini to warm it through and melt the cheese. We think the best toppings for a roast beef sandwich are cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, horseradish, mayo, sour cream, salt, pepper, and hot sauce. All the sauces and dressings make this a really great candidate for a chopped sandwich so that everything can melt together into a consistent flavor profile. Talk about a sandwich that packs a punch. The heat from the horseradish and hot sauce combined with the freshness from the veggies tastes amazing. The Chicago-style hot dog has a ton of ingredients, including tomatoes, dill pickle, sport peppers, red onions, mustard, Chicago-style sweet pickle relish, and celery salt. It's a super popular hot dog variety, but hard to eat with those large chunks of veggies. Chopping everything up is a brilliant solution unless you taste every flavor in every bite. You can chop up the hot dog too, or keep it whole so you can still enjoy that famous snack. I can't express enough how much better this Chicago dog tastes with all the ingredients chopped up and mixed together. It's time to shake up your ordinary cookout by chopping your hamburgers. Start with all American ingredients like American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, dill pickle, ketchup, mayo, and mustard. I chopped the burger up too, but you can leave it whole if you want to retain the heat for a little longer. You know that one bite in the middle of a burger when the condiments mix perfectly and the pickle is there and nothing has fallen out of the bun? That's what you get in every bite if you chop up the ingredients. I really enjoyed having all of my ingredients mixed up together on a hamburger, and you could easily adapt this technique for whatever burger toppings you enjoy. Now that you've seen how easy it is to make chopped sandwiches, we hope you'll try more combinations. Let us know in the comments which recipes work the best for you.